Nice guy, comes from Iraq, mm. the barber, up here in Farsley, took great pains over my hair. Mm. You did, didn't you? You did, yeah. Middle aged chap, wasn't it? Mm. Mm. I, he didn't speak a lot of good English. But um, he sure took pains over his job. Um, and I asked him um, why he came to England. <clears throat> and he said that his, he, he left Iraq and initially he went to Stuttgart in Germany. He didn't say why he left. Oh, he did, yeah, because he left Germany. I think he was there six years. Mm. And he, he left because his kids wanted to be educated in England. So he, he moved to Hyde Park in Leeds, which is a predominant student area. Is it? And it, it was it were really full on and then dead. Full on and then dead. And he, he, he said, I didn't like that. So he came to Farsley and opened his barber shop in Farsley and it says it's much steadier yeah steadier pace mm. not full on anymore mm. yeah. too busy I didn't like can imagine open no, seven no. days a week does it? ah yeah wow man his children must be grown up wouldn't they if mm. they're going to college yeah you yeah. never asked him which college they were going no, to. No, I didn't. Did what they'd chosen. No. No. We we got her uh, as deliver as medis you know, medication. As usual. Tablets delivered yesterday. Mm. Uh, from the chemist. Um but it were a bit different this time. Normally you just rings the bell and he oh, hands them to you and that's it. But this time, he said, um, I have to scan them. And they were a like a, not a barcode, one of these. Square. Mm, I can't remember the name of it now. Mm. Um, but he had to scan and he, had to, he asked me name. What was the name on of, of the person receiving the, Medication, like. Mm. Uh, took him a while to do all that stamina and cold. Oh, I know. Knock it out, I don't think. It's going to take longer, isn't it? It is, yeah. All this technology don't make things quicker at all. No. It just takes longer. Anyway, when I brought the the, the packages in, into the house and looked at them, it, it it said, what did it say on packet? Um, something about if you wanted to contact your pharmacy, the, the chemist, to get your next prescription. Something about next... that. Well, so I did, I did a scan. You scanned it, you went into it, it gave you... Yeah. yeah, and it was, it, it took you to a, a chemist, a pharmacy called Well, W-E-L-L. Um, apparently, you can um, subscribe uh, to it, you know, create uh -huh. a password and a, a name, and there you must... After I didn't go through the process because I didn't do it, but presumably you have to put in your doctor's, your surgery, your doctor's name and 
I don't know whether you to put all your tablets or whether they get the they get them from there. I don't know how it works <coughs> when you register. But when you do register, it means that you don't have to order your tablets from the GP anymore. You just order from them. And they either post them to you free of charge. Um, if you pay for your medication, you have to pay when you order it, put your order in. Uh, otherwise, you don't pay. Um, or you can pick them up from any well pharmacy near you. If you tell them, you must have to tell them which pharmacy, otherwise. Yeah. Well, when you, know. you order them, you you, you before mm. you order them, you look on the map mm. to see which there's a map of where they're all located. Yeah. So they don't do it in Wales. Wales or Scotland. Scotland. Or Ireland. It's just, or Ireland. just England. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> interesting, huh? Yeah. Thought about it. Mm. But it, it didn't, it, what it put me off was it said that not all well pharmacies have a click and collect facility. Mm. So, that could limit it a bit, couldn't it? Mm. If everywhere you went, they didn't do the click and collect service. Yeah. Um, I don't know. So I didn't register. Uh, but anyway, we, apart from that, we like to come back to Tracy's. Mm. Um, we order them before we come back. Yeah, you order them, don't you, on your phone? We always come back on a Monday. We always have to come back to Tracy's on a Monday because it's the only day you can get packed. To unload. To unload. Oh Lord. Mm. We always leave on a Monday. We always come back on a mm. Monday. Um, because the shop, some of the shops are shut. So there's not as many cars here. Otherwise, it's, you just no chance. Mm. So on the previous Thursday, before we come back on the Monday, I put the order in. Yeah. And I do it online anyway. Um, it usually on phone. comes by Tuesday, doesn't it? Usually comes any any time between Tuesday and Friday. Right, yeah. Um, of the week when we're back here, yeah. Mm. And we usually stay, it, we don't know how long we stay really. It all depends. Mm. <clears throat> I'm not sure this time because that's got to have a, a pair of glasses, which is going to cost us money. Mm -hmm. um, I've got today for testing. Tracy's having trouble with the car, which she might need some help with. So I am not sure. We're, 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 for any of new subscribers, we have never ever been abroad. Mm. Um, and I was contemplating going abroad mm. and we didn't even have passports so Got around about there. last November I organised it for Pat and got Pat a passport. That took a long time. It took a long time because it's the first application. I've never ever had a passport because when when I was in Germany in the army, of course, I don't know. How you they went with army, didn't how you? They do it. You don't have a passport. I don't know what you have. Can't remember what I had. I don't think. I must have had one. You must have had one when you came out to Germany. Yeah. Um. In the sixties. And then in the eighties, I worked in France for a bit. And, uh, but I got a temporary passport. I think it was valid for six months. Uh, but I didn't like, I didn't like it. I, thought, I, I quit that job. So I never renewed that. So I've never, I have never had um, a civilian passport in my life. But I have now, because it can. 
Mm. Well, we were away. Yours were easy, weren't they? Mm, yours, mine were yours. a lot easier than Kat's. Yeah. Um, um, we've so, had this flow, flow, flow gas. We've had the flow, flow gas fitted. Fitted for I've it. But... Done all, all other stuff I've done. Mm. And I've got to. I've got it. This year is the cat. The van is due for a cam belt change. So I've got to do that before I go as well. So there's a lot to do and a lot of expense involved mm. um, coming up with different things. So I just don't know. Whether we'll get there. Whether we'll get there. Mm. Or when we'll let's be going off, I don't know. Mm. Um, we never really know. I just get itchy feet mm. and we have to go. Uh, but when we're here, we, we, what we would have paid on site fees, we give to Tracy. So it does help Tracy out financially as mm. well. And we contribute to food as well, don't we? Mm. So, yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah. So there you are. We had a cup of tea last night, didn't we? Trouble yeah. is it filled him up and then we it had was... steep peas, proper steep peas. Mm. And oh, last night <laughs> I started, well, I've blow, blown up and I started with wind. Oh, I've had it all night. And <laughs> <laughs> mm. is that summer else? The mm. list of things that I can't eat and drink is yeah. just growing by the day. Yeah. It's water in wine down now. I'm having a water <laughs> wine down now because I get a, I get a headache every time I drink wine now. <laughs> <sighs> it gets worse, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've mm. gradually been limited, restricted. Mm. I was thinking about, this is a funny train of thought, so I was walking up and down the, the, the landing upstairs. I, I get my exercise walking up and down the landing, toing and throwing upstairs. And up, up and down steps. You not know, like a caged lion. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a right train of thought going through my head. Because, mm. uh, uh, well, thinking about this old age thing. I said, we're thinking, you, you, how many years you're young and you can't do things because you're young? Mm. Then you get to be 18, don't you? Mm. And, and then you, you reach your peak, don't you? And what would you say? You're 24, 23, 24? Mm. You reach your peak, and then by your late thirties, sportsmen have to retire. They, your brain don't think as quick. Your reactions are not as quick. Mm. Um, you you have to work on your on your diet, or else you'll get a belly. Yeah. Everything <laughs> starts going south. <laughs> well, um, by the time you get to your fifties, your eyes go on you. Yeah. Well, it's funny that, yeah. Mm. When I was 50, I was in a shop and I picked something off the shelf to read it and I, I went like that. <laughs> and I went, Whoa, what's that? And what's this? It was like a switch. Right, you're 50, Whetstone, and you need glasses. <laughs> well, just like that. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And then when you get old, there's yeah, there's so many more restrictions come back then. So you've only got this brief period <laughs> in, in, in between <laughs> in your life. Mm. We always used to say to David, our son-in-law, that um, you get get them two houses finished before you're 50, David, because yeah. by the time you get to 50, you don't have the incli inclination or the energy the to... The strength... Yes. You, you you start you do things and you the following morning you've got backache or something. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. I mean, he's still still working out doing his joinery and that. 61, I don't, I don't Yeah, I don't think he's um, quite doing... I don't think he... ...his heavy it, things, no. is he? Because he used to have to carry these big fire doors oh, on his own. He did, yeah. I think that's where he got his hernias from. <laughs> yeah, three hernias. <laughs> he's still got one. Yeah. He, he's had an operation on two of them. And it is still carrying. And this is what the government, they're doing, it isn't an accident. I think sure it's deliberate. Mm. That they've increased the yeah, they think, age for pension. They, they think you can plumbing work. Yeah. Work, do a physical job until you're 70. They're, they're absolutely joking. Yeah. They're having, well, they're not having a laugh. Well, they probably are having a laugh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, my sister's 68 and she's still working. She is, doing yeah. She's doing jobs. well. Because it's cleaning. Mm. It's still physical. Yeah. She likes doing it. She gets up early and she's raring to go before. <laughs> yeah, she gets up early. Yeah. Really early, don't she? Yeah. Yeah. She she's at work before all the staff arrive. I think she has a key, don't she? Yeah. To let yeah. us send in. Um, she's there before they all arrive. Mm. Yeah, she's she does a shopping cracker dog. Yeah, six six o'clock ish when they open. She's there when they open. <laughs> yeah, all in with doors. <clears throat> yeah. I suppose she thinks it's good because then she's finished by. Dinner time, isn't yeah. she? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. She likes the the job. Yeah. Well, she's got more than one because she, on some days, she goes from one to another. Yeah. Um. Does does a few on hours. On Friday there. she does. Is it Friday? Mm. I think Friday. Thursday she has off. Mm. Um. She usually comes here. Yeah. Yeah, but Not every it, Thursday. since this new nail bar opened, she says, I just can't get parked. Yeah. Um, which is true. If you, if you don't come on a Monday, you don't get parked. No. Um, we started meeting her down at that, yeah. that, that pub where, I can't remember the name of it, I showed you it. On, yeah, I can't video. remember the name of it now. Is it Summit Mill? Aye. Or... Aye, it is. Some at Mill. <laughs> Some at Mill. Um, we go there because it's a big car park and we can take camper down with us, can't we? And, believe it or not, there's a garage nearly opposite it that sells LPG. Oh, right. Mm. Yeah. Because according to what I've looked at recently, the Asda that sell LPG. I'm adding it for a, oh, we, we, we since called October a, I don't know. Yeah, we called it a, about three, didn't we, when we were away that we're supposed to sell it and our that pump were broke and they couldn't get them out to fix it or they'd they, not had a delivery. Yeah, but they weren't the ones on the app. They oh, were right, ones that, the ones we, that saw we saw just as we passed and went mm. back. One were just outside Sutton on Sea, weren't they? Yeah, it was. They said they'd been waiting months for them to come and fix the hose or something. Yeah, yeah. All the ones on the app, they tell you when, when, when you go and fill up, you click, you click on the on the thing to tell them you've so, so and it updates it. So anybody looking knows, knows that. It the date that the last person went, so they know that it's still in use. Mm. Well, which is very good. Yeah. We're doing it, providing everybody does that. Mm. Yeah. Well, a uh, couple of subscribers said that that job would have been right up our street a few years ago. It would have been, yeah. At, at, at nurseries. Yeah. I, I said ten years ago. Yeah. 
not yeah. a few years yeah, ago. Yeah, 10 years ago, about, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, well. Yeah, because Martha and the Van Dellers, Van Dwellers, mm. are leaving. Yeah. In a couple of weeks. Yeah, they are. Uh, when Neil mm. comes back. Mm. There you go. So there you are, folks. Mm. That's an old, our morning chat for today. Yeah. So we'll be well. Put some more washing oh. on and I'm going in bath. It's going for a rise testing this afternoon. Yeah. So that's our job for today. Yeah. To take you for your eyes testing. And we're actually having them done at Asda. Yeah, for a change. Guaranteed parking, I can get parked there. Mm. Plenty of space. Yeah. Mm. It's only a small car park down near Specsavers in Oh yeah. In Kirk's Dillon, yeah, where no I chance. usually go. No. It's just um, mm. Okay. It's very small. Even Morrison's car park on the other side is small, isn't it, really? Well, it's just full as full. Full as full, yeah. Mm. And, and the, it's compact, isn't it? Mm. The little roads around it are tight. Yeah, yeah. on both sides. Yeah. yeah. So, no. I mm. could get bus down there, but... Mm. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you could, yeah. We yeah. decided to change and go to Asda. Give it a try. We know we can get packed there, don't we? Yeah. I went there for my um, scan for um, diabetes thing. Got a letter back saying that everything's fine. So they're, dec they're deciding that they're not doing it every year for some people. They're going to do it every two. So mine's every two years now. Saving money. Instead of every year. Yeah. There we go. There you <laughs> go, yeah. There'll be no NHS left, so. Bye. Okay, folks. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.